your number one for classic radio listening, airchecks.com. From the center of the air check universe, this is Big Apple Air Checks. New York, New York, New York. Time for Living Association. It's now a single, originally from their birthday album, 734 at KHJ on the uh, Robert W. Morgan Show. Sir, are you searching for an outstanding career? Well, United Airlines is the place to go. Over 3,000 well-paying jobs for intelligent young women. As a United stewardess, you'll receive top salary, meet interesting people, enjoy travel throughout the U.S. and Hawaii. And if you're 20 to 26, 5'2 to 5'9 with weight in proportion to height, if you, you, you understand, and a high school graduate... Have a clear complexion. That's very important. You may qualify. Nobody likes a pimply stewardess. Let's face it. Come in today to United's Employment Office, L.A. International Airport, or check Sunday's Los Angeles Times Help Wanted section for recruiting dates in your area. Tina Delgado flies high. Summer. And suddenly beer tastes especially good. So it's important that you have Schlitz around the house. Just look for the summer Schlitz display that asks outer Schlitz and under the question an extra large supply of Schlitz six-packs and pop-top cans at a special summer price. So don't be out of it this summer. When you're out of Schlitz, you're out of beer. Joseph Schlitz Brewing Company, Milwaukee and other great cities. Robert W. Morgan, 93KHJ. I want to congratulate Pete Olson of Fullerton for his birthday card. What him a color TV set this hour on Boss Radio. Stand by if you sent your card in, you might be next. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cow Sills at Indian Lake. Listen. A new boss hit bomb by the Cow Sills at Indian Lake on the Robert W. Morgan Show, 738 at KHJ. Cigarette smokers, listen and listen carefully. That's an order. This message could be a lifesaver, yours. The American Council on Smoking and Health has a program which can make you an ex smoker without using willpower. Do you believe that? And without any of the horrible withdrawal symptoms you've experienced when you tried to quit smoking on your own and failed, known as co- co- colloquially as a uh, cold turkey. Now, you failed because you didn't know how to quit, and you couldn't keep chewing gum lit. But now, without drugs, pills, pacifiers, hypnosis, or mystery of any kind, the council can help you break a dangerous habit easily, permanently, and more quickly than you ever dared dream. Ladies and gentlemen, in Los Angeles, call the Smoking Control Center any weekday at 464-7422. Ask for a free consultation to learn how you can stop smoking without overeating or becoming tense and uptight. The number is 464-7422 for the office in Orange County. Ask information offer operator for Smoking Control Center. The number again in Los Angeles is 464-7422. The Big 93. Before 8, this is J. Paul Huddleston, KHJ 2020 News. A section of the Garden Grove Freeway was closed early today after drivers reported a sniper had fired at them between Harbor Boulevard and Euclid Street in Orange County. Several cars and trucks were hit by the bullets, and at least one windshield was shattered, but luckily no one was harmed. The patrol reopened the freeway after a search failed to turn up any trace of the gunman, and now the search for the sniper is being conducted through nearby residential areas. Senator Kennedy wins in Indiana and Washington. One of Houston's heart transplant patients dies, and Danny Baxter reports on sports upcoming on KHJ. When you've got a job to do, reach for something good to chew. Chewing helps you stand the pace anytime and any place. So with merchandise waiting for shipment was totally destroyed in a three-alarm fire during the night. The blaze is believed to have been caused by at least $100,000 damage as it roared through the warehouse near the Union Pacific tracks along Myers Street. 
Up in San Jose, three homes were heavily damaged and five persons were hospitalized. When one of them exploded, the blast occurred at an unoccupied house being fumigated and covered with a large tarpaulin. Senator Robert Kennedy has won his first crucial test in the Indiana primary, beating both Senator Eugene McCarthy and favorite son candidate Governor Roger Brannigan. With nearly all of the votes counted, Kennedy leads with 42% of the vote. Brannigan has 31%, McCarthy 27%. Former Vice President Richard Nixon rolled up heavy vote totals as the only person listed on the Republican ballot. KHJ's special assignment editor, Art Kevin, covered the Indiana primary for 2020 News. And after the results were known, he spoke to a one-time California senator who was a big Kennedy backer, Pierre Salinger. Now that it's all over, what is your reaction? What happened here in Indiana? Well, I think we won a tremendous victory here in Indiana. I think that considering the odds that uh, were against Senator Kennedy when he came here, uh, uh, the campaign that the organization mounted against him, I think that the uh, results here are really remarkable. Uh, he has run well throughout the state. He's carried every major city in the state. Uh, he won the home county of uh, Governor Brannigan, the home city of Governor Brannigan, the home precinct of Governor Brannigan. So that uh, we're not only satisfied, but extremely happy about the results here. Here, is there any one element that put Senator Kennedy over here in Indiana? Well, I think it was a tremendous campaign that he himself waged. I think if you have one uh, particular thing to uh, attribute it to, it would be the fact that he campaigned in uh, every major county of the state, in every hamlet of the state, uh, and his tremendous personal campaign that he conducted. Senator Kennedy picked up a second win in the District of Columbia voting of yesterday, outdistancing two groups of delegates pledged to Vice President Humphrey. The attention now centers on the next primary in the state of Nebraska, where Kennedy and McCarthy again clash head-on, then it's on to Oregon, and then in June in California. This is KHJ 2020 News. Who gives you America's only America's only production sports car? General Motors. And who gives you America's only America's only front-wheel drive cars? General Motors. And who gives you a rear-engine car? America's only yes. And who gives you America's only overhead cam six engine? Yes. The one that behaves like a V8. And? America's only disappearing windshield wipers. And? An energizer that glows when it needs a refill. And? and a total of 187 different Chevrolet, Pontiac, Oldsmobile, Buick, and Cadillac models to choose from. Ooh, Obviously, at General Motors, you come first with us. Maybe that's why our GM, mark of excellence, comes first with you. One of three heart transplant patients at St. Luke's Hospital in Houston has died, probably because of drugs administered to keep his body from rejecting the new heart. James Cobb of Alexandria, Louisiana, received the heart of a 15-year-old boy Sunday in the second of three such operations at the hospital over the past five days. Rescue workers at Harmony Falls, West Virginia, say they hope to reach those trapped coal miners later today. The men were trapped by underground water in one of the mine shafts. Pumps have been used to produce the water to a safe level, and a new shaft is being dug to 15 of the 25 men known still to be alive. Viet Cong propaganda squads are distributing leaflets proclaiming an outstanding victory in the four-day-old battle for Saigon. But American officials say 2,000 enemy soldiers have been killed in the capital area, and the chief U.S. military spokesman said the guerrilla offensive appears to be weathering on the vine. Fighting still rages in three areas of suburban Saigon. Buddhist monks say about 15 civilians were killed, 15 others wounded, when U.S. helicopters hitting Viet Cong positions dropped rockets into a pagoda. KHJ, Danny Baxter. Throughout yesterday into last night, the talk was of scam when Kentucky Derby officials disqualified Winner Dance's image, awarding the winner's share in gold up to forward past the stable Calumet Farms in the Kentucky Derby. And most of the people I talked with spoke rather irresponsibly. It was tragic for owner Pete Fuller. Also, it could have been easily the sports scandal of the year, but if we're to believe the dean of Las Vegas bookmaker, Sammy Cohen, what happened at Churchill Downs Saturday through this morning is a very common occurrence in run-of-the-mill races. I have been around bookmaking for over 40 years, and this happens not quite often, but happens a number of times throughout the years. Uh, throughout every year at different racetracks, but it doesn't receive the publicity because it has never happened, in my knowledge, in the Kentucky Derby, and actually I don't recall in 40 years that it actually happened in a race of any great consequence, such as a stake race, such as the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, the Belmont, or, or other big races. 
And that's Mr. Cohn, who also added the disqualification of Dancer's Image in the Kentucky Derby would have no effect on Nevada payoffs. And that goes for bookmakers underground in Los Angeles. Records are made to be broken, streaks to be cracked. Baseball's best last night, Louis Tiant, who pitched a third consecutive shutout. Cleveland winning over the Yankees, 8-0. Baltimore's eight-game win streak was breached. By Detroit, Tigers a 2-1 victor. Minnesota's four-game winning streak, check that, losing streak. And Oakland's four-win streak busted at the same time by the Twins' 2-1 victory over the A's. And at the Big A last night, the Angels lost a third game in a row. White Sox a 6-4 winner. In the National League, the Mets upset St. Louis 4-1. Atlanta nipped Pittsburgh 2-1. The Phillies clipped Cincinnati 5-2. Houston ripped the Giants 7-1. And the Dodgers shaded the Cubs yesterday at Wrigley 2-1. At Indianapolis Speedway, rookie driver Mike Spence of England died. In an Indianapolis hospital several hours after a practice run crash, Spence had been clocked at almost 170 miles per hour, fastest time since the Speedway opened for practice. And here's Andy Granatelli from Indy Speedway telling of the last run of Mike Spence. Mike did turn the fastest time in history. I should say this to this date in history when he turned 169.55 miles an hour. Ironically, on this run, he was only running around 163 miles an hour. Just more us getting a few of things on a second lap. And that's sports this morning the way I see it. Danny Baxter for KHJ 2020 News. The day was today, and you let the world slip through your fingers. If only you'd taken Pan Am's Flight One. Flight One goes round the world every day. Honolulu, Tokyo, Hong Kong, Bangkok, Rangoon, Calcutta, New Delhi, Karachi, Tehran, Beirut, Ankara, Istanbul, Frankfurt, London, and home again. Make as many stopovers and side trips as you like. Take as long as a year to complete your trip. The Jet Economy Fair all the way around the world, under $1,300, on the world's most experienced airline. Take one of Pan Am's daily flights from Los Angeles to Honolulu, where you can catch flight one and continue on around the world. See your local Pan Am travel agent for reservations or call Pan Am at Madison 93292. KHJ Weather. Just ahead of much more music and Robert W. Morgan. Look for partly sunny with a high near 72. Light smog in the basin here in Hollywood now, 58 degrees. This is J. Paul Huddleston, KHJ News. And that's what's happening today, May 8th, 1968. May 8th, 1967. Jotex, here come the judge. 7.53 now at KHJ on the Robert W. Morgan Show. Good morning, beautiful people of love. How are you today? Just stand by for a minute. We're going to do a beer commercial, but we can't get the top off. And the guy has to do a visual demonstration. Just bear with us. Buy a screwdriver, I think. Yeah, just pry it up. Yeah, that's good. Now, don't shake the can, man. We'll get beer all over the place. Comfortable. Fergie's the comfortable beer that wets your thirst with frosty refreshment that keeps right on refreshing. Fergie's unique, soft water brewed for the taste of it. Fergie, the comfortable beer. Comfortable. Think about it. Yes, you'll be so comfortable with Fergie, the comfortable beer. Take a note that if we do this again, they use a cold beer that's been sitting still for a while because this is... Just in time for Mother's Day, ridiculous. our Paige toilet water in a new 350 size. Promise her anything, but give her our Paige. She'll love it. Robert W. Morgan. She wants a beer. 93 KHJ. All right, here we go with the second of three KHJ hits in a row on the Robert W. Morgan Show, 757 Tommy James and the Shondells. Big Apple Air Checks is your full-service air check source.